Hello, my name is Margot Tassi. Tom Perrett and I currently have a show at Cerulean Arts called Hinterlands. You can see it online at cerulearts.com, but the gallery itself is closed because of the pandemic. Hinterlands refers to the fact that Tom and I both create art in Canada. He does much of his work in northwestern Ontario, and I do most of my paintings in the area around Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. It is doubtful that I will be able to return to Nova Scotia this summer because of the closure of the U.S.-Canadian border. However, I had already been thinking about what has drawn me back there year after year to paint. There are a multitude of reasons. In the 70s and early 80s, when I painted in South Jersey, I was attracted to motifs I later found in Nova Scotia. Beach and ocean, rocks and ocean, rocks and trees. In Nova Scotia, the deciduous trees became spruce and the sand beaches became rock beaches. Clearly, my interest in these aspects of nature is not unique. It almost seems that we all have an atavistic need for nature. But what makes me go back to the very same places year after year? In this show, there are two paintings that I did in the late 80s when I first arrived in Nova Scotia. I'm surprised at the continuity of my interest from that time to today. One is of a field, and one is of trees and cliffs above the ocean. The trees and cliffs were on a friend's land. The first year I traveled to Nova Scotia, I stayed in a mother-in-law house on that land. I loved the wildness of it, and in 2001, I moved to a house and land with similar kinds of views. Besides these two paintings from the 80s, all the other images in the show were painted at Beaver River, where I now live in the summer. All the rocks and water images you see were painted at Cape St. Mary, Nova Scotia. I think it's important that my return each year to Nova Scotia is also related to sharing times with friends, having other artists who like to go out and paint, and generally enjoying a more quiet and peaceful life. All those things support my work there. Many of the artists I know in the Yarmouth area do work that evokes nature. Nature is our shared experience. I like painting what is familiar. It is similar to someone who paints a long series of self-portraits. The artist goes back to the same face and records how it has changed over time. Trees have the same way of growing, changing, and eventually toppling to the wind. Usually the rock cliffs that I paint are not as changeable. However, the view of them may become completely obscured by the growth of trees and brush. It is surprising how great boulders get tossed around over the winter. I go back to find a lot of changes on a rocky beach. The places where I paint in Nova Scotia are also embedded with memories for me. Working and having a picnic lunch with a fellow artist there, birds and animals I have seen there, my own adventures like descending cliffs to swim in the ocean. An artist makes a self-portrait using an object of great familiarity. The things we are called to look at over and over hold a mystery for us that we cannot solve. So I keep going back with the attempt to reveal the mystery these things hold for me. How these views can give me so much joy and connect me with something greater than I am. What secret do they hold? I seem to be driven to try one more time again to reveal it.